simultaneous equation comes in three main ways for CXC. First way it can come, two linear equations. With two linear equations, two lines, bam, find x, find y. Then it can come with one linear equation and one of the equations being non-linear. So you're looking at a curve and then a line cuts. So you get two values of x, two values of y, essentially four values you'll, you'll get for that. And then there's a third way it can come where you have two linear equations, but they want you to solve it using the matrix method. So you're going to do all that in these three videos. When you have two linear equations, I recommend that you use the elimination method. Nice, and clean, and quick, efficient. Elimination method, use that. If you don't know what that is, go on and check that out. So we're going to do an example and direct now actually. So if you don't know guys, stay tuned. All right, so this right here is like worst case scenario. Two adult tickets and three children tickets cost 43. Normally, you get two equations. You see any equation here? No equation. So now you have to go and generate your own equation off of these two things. One statement here, another statement there. That should have been in an Excel. Let's put that nice. And you need to make two equations off of those two statements. Um, so let me do that now. 2x plus 3y, now you understand, they kind of give you a little help here. They say x represents the cost of an adult ticket. So 2 adult tickets, 2x plus 3 children tickets equal 43. So basic stuff. Do the same thing with the next one. One adult ticket, one, ta one child ticket costs 1850. You could, if, if you want, you can leave all the ones since 1x is the same as x. Yeah. Label them equations. Equation 1, equation 2. Collect your 2 marks. Next part. So the next part, we actually have to solve it. Solve the equations. So let me write back them two equations now. 2x plus 3y equal 43. x plus y equal 18.5. Label them. And let me do some elimination. You hear that door? That button just back in the whole night. You know? So equation 2 times 2. Why are we doing this? You know why are we doing this? We want to get this value here to be 2. So it's right now it's 1x now. So multiply by 2. But if you multiply this by 2, you need to multiply the whole equation by 2. Why we want to get it to be 2? We want it to be the same as that one. So once the numbers, the coefficients of one variable are the same, we could either subtract or add. If the signs are the same, we subtract. If the signs are different, we add. So you need to check over the elimination method to just, you know, understand that fully. So equation 2 times 2, that is an equation there. So we could just take away this from this or the other way around. This equation, take away this equation or the other way around. So... What we do? Equation 1, take our equation 3. Uh, we get y equals 6. One time. Wow, isn't that convenient? Yes, because 2x take away 2x is 0x. 3y take away 2y is y. And 43 take away 37 is 6. We nearly done. Substitute y equals 6, which we just found into one of the equations. I should have put equation 2 here. Equation 2. No space to for line. Just use the imagination. So x plus 6 equal 18.5. You understand? We take this 6 and we substitute it right there in that equation. Uh, now x is equal to 18.5 take away 6. x is equal to 12.5. Easy like that. Solve it. All of these equations should work out simple like that and it should be worth 2 marks. So now x is equal to the cost of one adult ticket. Why am I doing that? Oh yeah, because they ask us to solve the equations to determine the cost of another adult ticket. So we answer any question now. X represents the cost of an adult ticket, so we put that. So the question may have some specifics in it. Let's follow these specifics. Let's do Alright, so before I go, here's an example. 2x plus y equals 3, 5x minus 2y equals 12. Try this out. See if you can get this. Leave your answer in the comments below.